Donald J. Trump is about to be sworn in as the 45th President of the United States of America. And here's our rundown of who will and who will not be attending the latest episode of The Twilight Zone. <clears throat> I mean, inauguration. No, Flo Rida is not being paid one million to perform. That was just a rumor. But YG did say he'd perform f Donald Trump at his inauguration for four million dollars. Rock Band Three Doors Down and Toby Keith will be performing despite any backlash. Keith has made the following statement to Entertainment Weekly. I don't apologize for performing for our country or military. I performed at events for previous presidents, George W. Bush and Barack Obama, and over 200 shows in Iraq and Afghanistan for the USO. YouTube musicians and stars The Piano Guides. Cause you got to get some social media stars in there. Actor and father of Angelina Jolie, John Voight. The Radio City Rockettes, although they have said publicly that they are being forced to perform for a monster. And three of the 13 dancers have decided to sit out of the performance. The front men of country, Lee Greenwood, DJ Robbie Drums. I don't know who a lot of these people are, but cool. And while Jennifer Holliday, Andrea Bocelli, and Paul Anka are just a few of the celebs who initially agreed to perform, they later backed out because of travel conflicts. Mm-hmm. And if you're wondering where to see more celebrities, just check out the other events, not the inauguration. Cher, Scarlett Johansson, Katy Perry, Amy Schumer, Julianne Moore will be at the anti-Trump Women's March the following day. Alec Baldwin, Michael Moore, Mark Ruffalo, and others are planning an anti-Trump protest in New York City before the inauguration. And then there's the Love-a-thon. Jane Fonda, Judd Apatow, and Patricia Arquette are among the stars taking part in a celebrity-packed telethon airing on Facebook Live during Donald Trump's presidential inauguration, raising money for Planned Parenthood and environmental group Earth Justice. Whew, that's a lot, so there you have it. All you need to see and know for the inauguration. It's becoming like the Super Bowl, but it's real and it's our life and I'm getting tired. I'm really tired, folks. So there you have it. What are you gonna be tuning into before, during, and after inauguration? Let us know in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more of What's Trending.